this is the question of uh, 2012 october november paper one two and uh, the question number is nine it's a question related to graph uh, kinematics graphs so it says uh, the graph of velocity against time for an object moving in a straight line is as shown this is the graph so it uh, means that uh, uh, the velocity of the body is uh, zero in the beginning which means it is at rest from then onwards it uh, its velocity increases uniformly till a certain time after which the velocity becomes constant and then the velocity decreases uniformly to uh, again become zero after some time so what is the corresponding graph of displacement against time so there are four graphs given here so here first uh, what you have to say is what you have to be informed is since uh, the velocity is increasing uniformly it means that we have a equal to a equal to constant a equal to constant uh, v increasing uniformly we can write it as this increasing uniformly so this means that if we follow uh, the equation for s since all the graphs are concerned with the displacement, so we have to go through S. S equal to U T plus 1 by 2 A T square. And now since the initial velocity is 0, this term will be 0, which gives us simply 1 by 2 A T square. And now, as we have said A equal to constant, so that means S equal to some constant T square, which means the graph of T and S in this case will be a parabolic graph a parabolic graph so that means uh, uh, choice number b and uh, choice number d will not qualify because here it has got a straight line parallel to the t-axis and here we have a straight line uh, which is uh, which is uh, a straight line uh, passing through the origin here so these two disqualify so the only qualifiers are uh, this uh, a and c so here also it is increasing parabolically and here also it is increasing parabolically now in this section in this section what we have is what we have is uh, now v equal to constant so since v equal to constant that means that that means now this a should be equal to a should be equal to zero and since we follow this equation s equal to u t plus one by two a t squared since a equal to 0 this term should be equal to 0 so what remains is s equal to u t now we have t in the x axis s in the y axis and here we have some constant quantity u equal to constant so this is the slope now that means here the slope should be constant the slope should be constant so whatever it gets the slope after this parabola so whatever it gets the slope after this parabola so from then onwards it should be constant from then onwards it should be constant so here if you look here there was a uniform increasing slope and but the slope here decreases abruptly so you can see here it goes like this it goes like this and like this decreases but here the slope increases and becomes constant becomes constant so choice number c is the correct choice and the choice number a disqualifies now after if you go through this this choice here so what happens here is s equal to u t uh, it should be minus 1 by 2 a t square so it should give us a reverse parabola so parabola which uh, is reverse of this and this is definitely present in this and also here v equal to zero v equal to zero that means at the last at the last the slope of st graph should be zero because uh, when v equal to zero v is also equal to v is also equal to slope of or gradient of st graph so that means at that time the slope of st graph should be zero which is zero here so choice number c qualifies from every angle so this should be the correct answer